Today, I'm here with Dr. Tina Chuk. She's going to tell us a little bit about the TIER program at Cal Poly. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you, Devin. So I understand this program is for bilingual education and SPED. Could you give me a little more information about this program? Great. So we're funded by the U.S. Department of Ed, and we are a teacher residency program, meaning we are partnered with our local districts in South County in both Lucia Mar and Santa Maria, and really supporting their need to hire special education teachers and also bilingual educators, both in the elementary and middle schools and also as high school teachers in single subjects. So we both cover multiple subjects and also single subjects. Um, but here at Cal Poly, we're um, trying to fulfill a need with our partner districts by training and preparing special education and bilingual educators across all subjects. And it's a funded program. Um, basically, uh, um, residents get $27,000 a year to during their education to learn and be ready and get the credential. And for both programs in special ed and in the bilingual education, you get a master's degree. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit, but, um, and then they work in our local communities for um, three years to fulfill the agreement. Great, so for specifically math and science students, you mentioned that there's a single subject program. What do the prerequisites look like for that? So I think our program is very much aligned to the existing School of Ed single subject program. So they would fill, fulfill the requirements for getting a single subject credential. Um, the requirement is that they enter as um, with a bilingual authorization. So that's a supplementary credential in terms of they are they could be hired as bilingual educators. So basically, you would teach math um, in you know English and Spanish or science, any of the subject areas that we have here in English and Spanish. So if you're interested in teaching math and science and you have decent and strong and proficient and proficiency in Spanish, we highly encourage you to apply for the program. So we're always looking for educators in the area of STEM so that they can work in our partner schools. Great, and how long does it take to complete this program? So there's two strands. If you're in special education, that's about 10 months and you get an education specialist degree. Um, and then that does not include the bilingual authorization. Or the alternative route is if you want to be a multiple subjects or single subjects, which is the elementary or middle or high school, um, you would get you know one of the routes in single subject or multiple subjects, and then you'd add the bilingual authorization on top. And that program is a total of about 18 months because you get your credential. And then what's added on is the curriculum and instruction master's degree. So that's an add on. And so that's why the program is a little bit longer. So you'll be potentially in class first your teacher and finishing your master's degree. So it's slightly longer, but you do get a master's degree in addition to your credential. The special ed program is slightly shorter because it's an ed specialist degree. So they're sort of ready to go and it's an existing program that's here, but you would have to work in your our partner school districts for a total of three years. Great, and then do you have any details on where students can apply, when applications are due, things like that? Of course. So we're in recruiting season now, so we'll start hosting um, informational sessions. If you go to our School of Ed website, there'll be a link to the tier residency program. And from there, we'll post news announcements. Um, we have a website available where you can look at um, profiles of our residents, some news articles and press and informational sessions. But typically we enroll, we take applications in the spring because we accept students for the fall 2022 cohort. So right now we're looking at it's for single subjects, it's typically earlier. It's look for announcements around January, February, and then for multiple subjects, it's and also special education that's in April. So we follow the deadlines that are for the traditional programs of single subject and also multiple subjects in special ed. So typically in the spring, the single subject is a little bit earlier and um, you would apply for the main program and then the tier residency program is a separate application. So it's an add on. And once you start the application, there'll be an option to see if you would like to apply. So it's already built into the application system. 
and it's fairly short. It's a couple of essay questions and then an additional interview in terms of you know your fit and also whether um, you know you meet the criteria and qualifications for our program. Great. Do you have any other information you'd like to add about the program? No, I think um, we're really excited to recruit for the next cohort. So if you have any questions, contact myself, Dr. Tina Chuk, um, Dr. Brianna Ronan, who is the what we call primary investigator. She's the director of the residency program and uh, also the coordinator for the bilingual authorization program. And then Dr. Leah Wood, who's the co-coordinator for the special ed um, strand. So I think we're a super collaborative team. I think if you do the work in special ed, you get to meet folks in bilingual education. If you're doing bilingual education in single and multiple subjects, you get to learn from um, your colleagues in special ed. So it's a very innovative program in terms of we're shepherding this new cohort, making sure that our partner districts are supported, they have the staffing they need, and that, um, yeah, and we're just building out our program in our second year of recruiting students, so. Thank you so much for meeting with me today, Dr. Chuk. Well, thank you so much for having me. So um, feel free to go to the School of Ed website. There will be more information there. And then um, it's it's an incredible experience. I think having the financial incentive of $27,000 really help students understand like we are investing in you because you will be part of the, our local community as future educators. So um, it's super important for us to meet the needs and make sure our students can thrive. Well, thanks again, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Thank you.